So in today's lecture, we are going to derive an expression for law of conservation of momentum. For deriving this expression, we must take an example. Okay. So there are there are two balls. One is this one. Another is this one. Right. So let us say it is a ball A. It is a ball B. Right. It is moving with a velocity of u one, and it is moving with a velocity of u. Right. Let us say the mass is m one, and let us say the mass is m two. Okay. So m one is the mass of the ball one, and m two is the mass of the ball two. Right. But they have the same mass basically. Now, what is happening? Basically, what happens? Let us consider another example of a car. Suppose there is a car. it is moving like this and there is another car which i am driving and it is behind it suppose i want to hit this car to this car right what what i need to do obviously we must not do that but if i want to hit one my car to the another car what what must i do obviously i need to increase my speed in order to hit the another car right so basically we need we we want a collision to happen so i'm just removing this okay so we want a collision to happen between ball a and ball b so because both are moving in rightwards direction both are moving in rightwards direction and we want ball a to hit ball b okay so what must i do i must increase the speed of ball a right increase the speed of ball a in order to hit the another ball okay so now if i increase that means i am showing this velocity will be more than this velocity right so now i'm showing a picture of a collision now so i need to show the picture of collision that means these both ball must touch each other right so now this is ball a this is ball b and they are colliding with each other right so i can say that this picture is before collision and this picture is during collision so what will happen when these ball will hit each other what will happen basically you all know the newton's third law of motion what is newton's third law of motion we we studied this law in my previous lecture so every action has equal and opposite reaction right so when ball a is hitting ball b that means basically the action the action is done by ball a on ball b and the reaction will be done by ball b to ball a right so if i say the action f a to ball b and the reaction to f b to ball a so i can say this is a reaction and this is a action right this is clear to you now the third case is after collision 
now imagine what will happen if see this is these are the two balls separated from each other now the collision happened they stuck but now after collision what will happen obviously there will be ball a here there will be ball b here and this will move with velocity v2 now it is the final velocity after collision and u2 is the initial velocity before collision and it will move with velocity v1 in forward direction now most of the people most of the students are thinking that if they hit why this ball a is not going backwards why it is moving moving in the front direction in the forward direction just imagine because both the balls a and b are having same mass now assume if ball b is very very heavy let us assume the example of a car if a car if both the cars are stuck if both the cars are striking each other that means they are moving with the same velocity the mass is same then they will move forward but if the car will hit a truck truck is very very heavy so it will go bit of backwards and then stop right and if a car will hit by a wall then obviously it will it will go backwards so because the a and b object mass are same so they will go in the forward direction and let us say the mass is m1 m2 and the velocity is v1 and v2 okay so this is after collision so these are the three pictures after collision during collision and before collision right now we need to derive the expression so i can say derivation so can i write momentum of body a before collision so what is momentum we all know momentum equals to mass into velocity this formula we all know right now i am asking momentum of body a before collision so now before collision this is the first picture what is mass m1 and what is velocity u1 right so i can write it is m1 u1 now the another one is momentum of body b before collision so what will happen now body b before collision mass is m2 and the velocity is u2 so it will be m2 u2 now if i need to write momentum of body a after collision so what will happen what will be the momentum of body a after collision so what will happen it is m1 v1 now we will see the figure 3 after collision so i can write m1 v1 and now the last one momentum of body b after collision so what will be the momentum it will be m2 and v2 okay do you understand these all so i can just write it is m1 u1 and this is m2 u2 right now we we know the another formula also we we have studied this formula in my previous lecture it is force equals to delta p over t we already we already know this formula as well okay and we know what is p p is delta p equals to p final minus p initial this is delta 
P. I can write V no. Right? Now suppose I need to write F A to B. That means I need to write the force which is exerted by ball A on ball B. So what, what it will be? Delta P over T. That means I can write PF minus PI over T. Right? And this, this also I can say it is a action. Right? A on B. Okay? And suppose, now what is PF? What is PF? PF is the final momentum right so what is the final momentum final momentum is the momentum after collision on body b so it will be m2 v2 minus p initial okay that means that means the momentum of body b before collision so before collision the mass of body, this is m2 and before collision, what is the velocity? It is u1 over t. Do you understand this? That means this is f a on b. This is the force which is exerted by ball a on ball v. Now, I need to find out the force which is exerted by ball B on ball A. That means it is ball B on, on ball A. That means I am doing a reaction. Reaction means reaction means I need to see the momentum on body A now. Right? So again, I'm, I will use the same formula, P final minus P initial over T, right? So what is my P final? P final is ball A now, ball A. So it will be M1 V1 minus M1 M1 u1 over t right so i can say this is f b 2 a so i can mark this is equation 1 and this is equation number 2 now we all know according to newton's third law of motion f a to b every action has equal and the opposite reaction is equal to negative of f b to a right that means that means i can equate equation number 1 to equation number 2 so can i write m2 v2 minus m2 u2 over t equals to minus of m1 v1 minus m1 u1 over t right can i write this equation so if i'm writing i can cancel out t to t and then what will happen what is the resultant i will be getting m2 v2 minus m2 u2 equals to minus m1 v1 plus m1 u1 okay now what i will do i will write the initial velocity on the left hand side and the final velocity on the right hand side so initial in a, initial velocity is u right so I can write I can write M2 V2 
प्लस एम वन वी वन इक्वल्स टू एम वन यू वन प्लस एम टू यू टू और आई कैन जस्ट राइट एम वन यू वन प्लस एम टू यू टू इक्वल्स टू एम टू वी टू प्लस एम वन वी वन सो दिस साइड इज बेसिकली द इनिशियल इनिशियल वेलासिटी साइड एंड दिस साइड इज बेसिकली द फाइनल वेलासिटी साइड सो आई कैन से दिस इज अ साइड इज टोटल मोमेंटम बिफोर कोलिजन एंड दिस इज टोटल मोमेंटम आफ्टर कोलिशन राइट सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज दिस डेरिवेशन इज क्लियर टू यू सो दिस इज बेसिकली द लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोमेंटम सो कैन आई राइट द स्टेटमेंट वॉट इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोमेंटम द स्टेटमेंट इज विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट the total momentum of an isolated system before and after collision always remains constant okay and what is isolated system such a system in which there is no external force acting there is no external force acting right so this is the statement of the newton's conservation law of motion so basically law of conservation means total momentum of an isolated system before and after collision always remains constant right so this you need to remember the derivation of this thing thank you